G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac. Google Firebase is a no SQL cloud-based storage service that is free for small usage and heavily scalable. It's an ideal solution for beginning developers and can be used professionally if you need to roll out an app and scale it massively. So let's install Firebase and let's see what can be done. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to the Firebase website. That is uh, firebase.google.com or www.firebase.com. Uh, then go to the console and you get this opportunity to add a project. So we'll create a project. Basically, you just need one project for all of your different apps that you're going to create, but you can create multiple projects if you want to segment them. You've got user ID issues and things like that. I am not in the States, I am in Australia currently. There we go. Create that project. So we, once we've got our project, you can see over here you've got um, authentication, which we'll be using in our login, uh, iOS beginners course. We've got the database and storage. We've also got some web hosting, and uh, cloud-based functions. You need to do some server-side calculations and these are the test labs, crash reports, performance, etc. Anyway, we want to add Firebase to an iOS app, so we click on that, and we need to get this exactly correct. I'm gonna, act, uh, I'm gonna call it Firebase test. We'll just call it test, and we'll register that app. We need to go into Xcode and create a new project. Single view app, we're going to call it Firebase test, all in lowercase so the bundle identifier matches. We'll save it to our desktop. And it's all looking good there. So we need to download this Google service info plist file. So we click on the button. And I can just drag that over onto my desktop. I can go back to my project and I can copy it into the project. Copy and add to target Firebase test. Now there's currently a bug, so uh, it's in Xcode, not in Firebase. So just delete that file. <laughs> remove the reference, don't move it to the trash. Remove the reference and then right click and add files to Firebase test. Click again on the Google service info plist file and add it. That's fixed the problem. <laughs> um, now going back to what we need to do, we continue. We need to create a pod file. Um, now this is not exactly what you need to do. So uh, what I do is I've got a pod file from a different application. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to open it up and edit it. So it's called, um, oh, I'm wondering whether or not that's the same one. No, that was from when I was previously doing it. So we want it to be iOS 11. The target is going to be Firebase test. And the pod that we want is the pod that they've seen here, which is pod Firebase core. So we're going to save that and then in our project folder, a Firebase test, we're going to move the pod file. Um, so as you can see, it's got additional uh, things there, but we need to go pod install. So we go to terminal. So there's our pod file, pod install. And you can see it downloads the latest version of Firebase 4.1.1. And it also gives us a message, please close any current Xcode sessions and use Firebase test.exe workspace. So we're closed in our project. We'll open our folder and open the workspace. While that's happening, you can also get out a terminal. Because we've created a new pod file, we're getting this thing about build settings 
enabled recommendation warnings, just make the changes that are necessary. Here's our pods. And we've got Firebase installed, so that's all looking good. We'll continue. We've got to add some initialization code. So we'll import Firebase at the top of our app delegate. And then here in our application, did finish launching with options. We need to put this line, Firebase app.configure. Then we can run. And if it's working correctly, it's going to give all these read statuses. Certainly not going to give any errors. So something about configuration not found using the default configuration. It's the first time it's been run after all. And there you go. Firebase is installed. So the two things that you need to know about is this little trick currently where you need to delete this file and add it, uh, add, use the add file so that the system knows about it. Otherwise you get some spurious error about can't find a Google service info file when in fact one exists. And as you can see in the Google service info, that has to be the exact name. So if you've already downloaded one of these Google service info files before, then when you download it, you'll get like a brace two, brace three, brace four, etc. So it needs to be that exact name. Uh, the other major issue you can have is if the bundle IDs don't match up, so do everything in lowercase, uh, a Firebase test, and make sure that that matches this bundle identifier here, as well as when you look at your test app here, The, uh, bundle file, the bundle identifier, the bundle ID, uh, matches up exactly in terms of its case sensitivity. So Firebase is installed in our app. Let's look at what we can do. Better make things secure, so we'll look at authentication in the next tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then please leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter, at Swift Almanac. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and check out our website at www.swiftalmanac.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.